Pastor Phil, at key points. What are these two pipes doing? Anybody? Francis Sullivan, what are these two pipes doing? Fresh air and exhaust. Fresh air and exhaust for? A boiler. So it could be a boiler, but here's what you all would do as a licensed professional. You look at this, and you should automatically be able to go, I don't care whether it's a boiler, a furnace, a water heater. I know it's a category what appliance. And yes, indeed, for those of you who have four fingers up, you are on your road to success because it is indeed connected to a category four appliance. You don't even have to look at it. You don't even have to get in the basement. If it's connected to a category one appliance, we're just dealing with somebody who's like dangerous and should be shot. Really good stuff going on here. There's some really neat things. We got Unistrut supporting the pipe with strut clips that are actually stainless steel strut clips. The Unistrut has like these really cool caps to cover the ends so that nobody gets cut. And we're thinking about, I have exhaust fumes coming out of here. Can they get sucked into the intake? Maybe. Prevailing wind coming in here and swishing around. Me in the corner of the house certainly could pull some stuff in there. Does it meet the manufacturer's instructions from clearance from the corner for both of those? You don't know that right now, but I can tell you it did. So really, most of this is really, really good. Some gas pipe down here, I'm not really happy. It was like existing, but it was kind of right up against the chimney, right up against masonry. It is painted on this side, but God only knows what's going on on the side against the chimney. I'm pretty sure it wasn't painted. But there's a code violation in this picture, and it's like right in your face. When your vent terminals exit a building, less than seven feet above grade, which this was the case here. So if you measured from grade up seven feet and you came out of the side of a building, you sidewall vented like we're doing here, less than seven feet above grade, that sign needs to be... Kevin, what is that number? Yeah, we didn't hear you, but I saw you say eight feet. That sign's supposed to be eight feet above grade. So when you exit a building, you sidewall vent, and you sidewall vent exiting the building under seven feet, measuring from whatever ground level you have, your sign should be eight feet above grade. So just remember that always. If you're going to put a sign, it's supposed to be eight feet above grade. What if there's a window? What if there's this? What if there's that? That most of the time means you didn't do a good job surveying where you were going to pump out those vents for your appliance. For everybody who goes, well, that was the only spot. That's all I could do. Plenty of other different types of boilers and water heaters and furnaces that you could have installed and made them comply. Well, this is the one they wanted. It's your job as a licensed professional to make the point. Code violation is a code violation. Not my problem that you didn't tell them everything they needed to know. Oh, yeah, now the inspector comes. So I'll let him be the, or her be the bad guy because I didn't do my due diligence because I didn't really know my own code. And that's what I'm going to tell a homeowner when you put me in that situation. Don't give excuses. Make it right. Do it right the first time. That was a fail, even though it was really good work.